वेलकम एवरी वन वेलकम टू फिजिक्स बाई आर एन सो आई होप यू आर ऑल इन गुड हेल्थ एंड येस्टरडे यू नो दैट वी हैड अवर आई आई टी जैम टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर एग्जाम सो एग्जाम केम एंड मोर देन फिफ्टी स्टूडेंट्स कॉल्ड मी येस्टरडे सो आई वॉज बिजी ऑल डे येस्टरडे देर वर सो मेनी कॉल्स एंड आई शॉर्ट ऑफ डिड एन डिटेल्ड एनालिसिस ऑफ द एग्जाम सो आई टॉक टू दो स्टूडेंट्स एंड देर वॉज वन वेरी कॉमन थिंग विच आई फाउंड आउट अबाउट द एग्जाम and you might have also seen the same thing in an exam so based on that experience and based on the level of questions which student sent me and also discussed over the phone i am going to predict a expected cut off for this because there will be almost one month before you can actually tell that is your exam is good enough you have done well in the exam or you have not done well in the exam so to save your time so that you can decide about your future steps i am going to predict a very close expectations which we can have from this exam okay so first of all what was the common things that happened in an exam so the conclusion of the paper was that many questions actually were from like the previous year questions uh so they put a lot of questions which were very very similar to the previous year questions uh, many formulas which they have already asked in the previous year questions so they have not tried to build on a uh, many new concepts in this exam rather they focused on what has been already asked in the iit jam in the previous years i am again saying that not every question was similar to pyq but many many questions were similar to pyq so this is the first idea which i got from the students the second idea was that the paper was moderate so um, we cannot say that this paper was easy which happened a few years back especially in 2019 i still remember the paper was very easy and the cut off was very very high so which means uh, in order to get an iit you had to score a lot of marks but this year this not, did not happen uh, paper was going towards the easy side but some of the some part of the syllabus stopped it some part of the exam stopped it from going to the easy side so the paper remained at the moderate level also it was not difficult paper so uh, last two year paper we can say was going to be on the difficult side but from the last two years this paper was not on the difficult size side except it was on more of the moderate side paper right so not very easy not very difficult in between okay but other thing that two about the two sections which a clear idea came out that mcq almost everyone said was easy so first 30 questions of mcq people said that okay if we have studied for it they were similar they were easy questions we could have solved that but everyone said that msqs were hard because there were many confusing options many confusing concepts were there entropy problem and all of those problems i heard about then uh, overall idea came out that msq was hard but mcq was easy now in nat some students are saying that it was hard some students are saying it was easy so there is a mixed opinions about the nat right so nat particularly depends upon that what kind of preparation you had okay rather than it is very difficult to predict at this moment that uh, what kind of paper was developed in nat is it easy or hard until unless the actual paper comes out and the last conclusion which came out to be from the paper was that most of the questions were formula based so directly if you know the formula if you remember the formula or the very basic application of the concept then uh, your you could have easily solved the paper okay so i would say that this paper was very well designed paper so very well uh, done to the iit so who has actually uh, very designed a very very beautiful paper okay so and this paper was more beautiful the reason was that only those could score in this paper who have specifically prepared for iit jam who are just not have not actually prepared for iit jam and just are uh, gave the exam on the basis of bsc knowledge those students suffered okay so those students were not able to do very well in the examination but the students who particularly prepared for iit jam done the previous year problems done the assignments done the lectures done the uh, you can say uh, overall holistic preparation of jam only those students could clear right so it was not like anyone could come in and give an exam and get good marks also it was not like that someone who is preparing for iit jam but the exam is so hard that their preparation did not help them so it was something that whoever prepared for ex this exam jam rewarded them right 
so now comes the main question that what is going to be our cut off right so these were the conclusions but the cut off was that one of the very most conclusion i can say that this paper was same as 2022 sorry 2020 so the paper which came in 2020 now uh, i also qualified that paper in 2020 i had a rank of 152 so i got into it delhi because of that so the moment i heard about this paper i am looking at the it jam paper from last 3 years because i am teaching it jam from last 3 years so i i i saw that okay this is not like 21 this is not at all like 22 uh, this is very much same as 20 because 2019 was easy 2020 was moderate 2021 uh, and 22 were difficult right so exactly like 2020 paper was this right and uh, if you want to get an iit and if you are a general cut off you are a general student and you want to get into iit which means basically under 600 rank you can expect that if you are getting more than 46 marks then for sure you will get an iit okay so this is my prediction i could be little bit wrong in this but plus or minus 2 marks you will get an iit for 46 okay and uh, after the after our result came i will again come and i will reevaluate that how much my predictions came out to be true but based on my experience i can say that this is a marks where you should get iit now what will be the cut off just to qualify exam that is meaningless statement uh, i could not say that okay if you get this much marks you might qualify the exam so that does not matter that might be 22 23 24 something like this so it will definitely be between 20 to 25 but qualifying the exam does not guarantee anything main idea is that at what marks you are getting an iit so if you are a general student up to 600 rank you get an iit so if you are getting 46 marks you may get an iit okay now if you are want under 300 rank means you want top 7 iits which are closing at under 300 then you might need 52 marks at least to ensure that you are getting under 300 rank so if you get actually under uh, 52 marks or more than that you are you can guarantee almost it is guaranteed that you will get under 300 rank okay so now if you are from obc category remove uh, reduce the 5 marks from these cutoffs and if you are sc st category student then you can reduce 10 marks from this approximate calculation okay so this was my prediction on the cutoff right so some of you might be saying that what is the basis of this cutoff and i want to show you that okay so this is the marks versus rank distribution for 2022 so you can see that for one uh, rank you almost needed 92 marks so 92 marks student got rank 1 in 2020 so paper was similar to that if someone was very good in iit jam they can score even 90 plus but we will go to the directly to the rank number almost under 100 rank so at 61 marks right at almost almost 61 marks you can see this you can clearly see at almost 61 marks you are getting under 101 rank so 61 marks was enough to get under 100 rank right and if you see under 300 rank you can clearly see on the screen you only need 51.67 for 272 rank 51.67 for 272 so if you are getting even close to 50 marks you were getting under 300 rank right and if you look at for 600 rank you all, all, all almost need 43 marks in that paper so similar to that if i increase 2 to marks in all of these cutoffs you can roughly say that you more or less you need 45 for iit if you are general and 52 for your i uh, top 300 rank so the similar trend is going to be followed uh, you can see you will see that soon in an results also that this kind of thing same thing has happened in an exam also okay so if you talk about that let's very quickly talked about that what will happen if we get a rank right so this is a list i have given you can take a screenshot of this list and i'm not going to go in much detail of this list because this is not a good time for that right now we do not have ranks but for which rank you will get which iit right so i have given a complete list of that that uh, for the, this rank you may, will get this iit for this rank you will get this iit and you can very clearly see that almost iit bhilai is going for 681 rank so up to 681 rank also you are getting an iit which is iit bhilai 
IIT Tirupati is closing at 671, IIT Plakkad is closing at 640, IIT Mandi is closing at 620, IIT Dhanbad is clo closing at 573, Patna is closing at 535, Jodhpur at 468 and so on you can look at it. These are the journals cutoffs and if you look at the SCST or OBC category you will see even the dip in the rank that you might get an IIT. So this was an idea about 2024 exam. But what next? If you are in this category, if you are very sure that your marks will be more than that and you still have to wait for your response key to actually check that how much questions you have done correctly and how much questions you have done wrong. Okay. But one thing we can be sure about is that if we are not able to qualify this for some other reason that maybe we were not able to prepare for IIT then at this moment you can feel that it seems that iit dream is going away from us right so what should be our next step if iit you are thinking that my iit dream is almost over or if you're thinking that i might get into iit in both the cases for each and every student what could be the next step so next step is you all know our just exam right so the next step is just exam because just exam is on 3rd March. You have less than 3 weeks for this exam. And why you should give just? IIT jam is over. Why you should give just? Do you want to qualify an exam or not? If you really want to qualify an exam, then you should know that just is even tougher than IIT jam. And just gives you chance to qualify just exam. And it gives you an admission in top Indian premium institutes. ISERs are there. Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore is there. NISER is there. SN Bose Institute is there. HRI is there. TIFR is there. The list goes on. So you know that you can get admission into this. So what are the courses in which you can get admission? You can get an admission in integrated PhD. And also in this MSc. Because there are some institutes like HRI, SN Bose which only gives you an admission for MSc also and MSc done from these institutes is very worthwhile. Okay, if you want to get into teaching field, if you want to get into academics field after your physics journey, then these, these degrees are going to help you a lot because these names are in itself a brand names, right? ISERS, IIC, NISER, SN Bose. And if you look at it, these institutes provide you all the resources which you need to be a good physics person, right? So, for good physics career, these institutes are best in itself. And these all institutes give you an admission based on the JEST exam, which is in 3rd March, less than 3 weeks are left. One, even one day wasted on your thinking will keep you away from even from the JEST. So, if you still want to come back, if you want to make a comeback in your academic career, if you want to make a biggest comeback in your academic career, right? So then just you should put each and every day six seven hours on just Up until just happens qualify the just throw away the rank if you don't want to get into any other institute than iit but if you can if you are willing to just become a good physics student and if you want to do a very good in physics career and iit does not matter to you then you can take that rank right so get a rank in just exam if you do, if you are not willing to get, get into any other institute throw away that rank but if you are willing to get into even the top more institutes of india use that rank and get into those institutes but once you get a rank in any examination the first rank i got was in iit jam so once i got the rank in iit jam there was no stopping me then i qualified all the exams i qualified just i qualified gate i qualified csr net almost every exam i gave i qualified because once you qualify an exam, then you keep on qualifying afterwards, right? So that is the idea we have, right? And in order for just examination, almost no one in India has this kind of thing. No institute is providing this kind of thing. I, we are the first ones to start a particular course just for just. No one has a capability to come up with such course. And this course has been so famous that within one week, we have more than 300 people already enrolled in this course. Okay. So this course is running right now. There are three weeks. This is basically three week course up to your just exam. Okay. So 
In this course, we are going to cover more than 70% syllabus for JEST. Okay, and in this course, they, this is basically a four step course. Number one step is analyze. We are going to cover each and every PYQ of JEST. Right. So, in the an analyze section, you are getting PYQs of JEST topic wise. So, the polarization topic, basic electronics, quantum mechanics, basics. So, all the topics you are getting the PYQ topic wise. Okay. And then these PYQs are being discussed in the live class. So, I am taking the live class almost on the daily basis and then discussing these PYQs, not just discussing, almost explaining these PYQs even to the students who do not know the concept. Then comes the learn concept. Learn section has all the videos, learn section has all the notes you need to cover any topic. So, let's say that today's topic is polarization and you need to learn the topic of polarization. Then, learn section contains that all the videos, all the notes you need to learn this concept. Then comes the practice. So, assignments which are exactly like just no more questions, no less questions, only those questions which are similar to just questions and which are which can be asked in just no unnecessary problems, only those problems which are useful for just. So, in practice session, every student is getting the assignments and those assignments doubts I am taking in live class as well as in the telegram channel. And then in the last is test. Once your preparation is there, every week there is a quiz. And also along with this, there is a full test. So in the three week, if you are if you are willing to give me six to seven hours every day, if you can give me six hours every day and you are ready, no, no, I am I'm ready for giving this comeback. If you are a weak student and if you are going to waste your time in next one, two weeks in thinking, then you can keep on thinking, that's up to you. But if you want to spend last three weeks in just preparing for just thinking nothing else and digging yourself into the just preparation and you can promise me that you will give me more than six hours every day, then it, this course is for you. Because every day in the morning I am giving the target. And once the target is given, it is a duty of the student to complete the target by the end of the day. Right. So and students are doing that and students are getting the good results through that okay and if you want to purchase this course you can do fees you all already know physics by iron has the minimum fees uh, we are we are providing all the courses taking from csrnet to gate to iit jam to just at the minimum cost no one is providing the co courses at lesser fees than us so the fees of our just course is just 999 and this course is available on our website which is www.physicsbyrn.com and also at our app which is physics by rn okay so just search it out you will find this course and if you know about all the details of this just course there is a video uploaded in the youtube channel you can go and watch that video in which i have discussed all about this course still if you have any doubts just call us okay so you can find the number in their description box you just call us and our team will help you in that okay so that's all i want to say that let's make an academic comeback okay so if you want to make this academic comeback i am ready for you only purpose of this course is to actually generate the students of under 100 rank of just under 200 rank of just because that is sort of my dream that I want to generate the people who get under 200 rank and that is why I am working all day to ensure that students are getting. So for that I need more and more students, more caliber students who can actually put 6 to 7 hours every day in studying and get that. Okay. So I see, I hope that I will find you in the course and I wish you all the best for the future and I, I hope that uh, your yesterday exam will change the course of your career okay so that's all for today i will see you next time